What is going on guys? Austin Richo here and today we're doing another DC Multiverse set. This time we've got the Collect and Connect Lobo wave. And so this wave looks pretty cool. I like some of the look at the figures. And then of course we get Lobo, which is really cool to finally have a Lobo figure in the DC Multiverse. But as you can see here to start out, we got the um, first two characters of Kid Flash and Batman Beyond. Um, so it's pretty cool to see the new versions of most of these characters. Um, so like the new uh, rebirth versions and stuff of the characters. So Kid Flash. Now you can see we've got Lobo pieces there. Then of course in the Batman Beyond we've got the Lobo head that you can see there. Um, which looks again really cool. So we've got those two. And then we have the other two parts of the set. Which of course is the Kingdom Come Superman. Or at least it's... Uh, from that run like the picture here is from kingdom come and stuff of superman which of course is an amazing comic if you haven't read it and then we've got kyle rayner here the green lantern once he comes back to the green lantern core from being the white lantern and everything so it's cool to see all these and again all the lobo pieces and stuff so we'll go ahead and look at each of the figures individually then at the very end put lobo all together and check him out as well so let's go ahead and get into it and first up here we've got kid flash of course from the teen Titans, and this is wallace west which is pretty similar to wally west but he's actually the cousin of wally west the one that we know as kid flash and everything but he was reintroduced um with the dc uh new 52 and then was kind of clarified his name and stuff being the same name as Wally West um, with the rebirth that they're actually cousins of named after the same person and stuff of their grandpa of Wallace and stuff so that's why he's got their the name the way it is and stuff same as the original Kid Flash but this looks really cool so again so we obviously he's an African American character so that's why you can see that that's the color of his face and stuff that he's got the brown face there as you can see I like his eyes um, once again these DC figures they're not the best Best figures overall but I think over like generally I feel they are a little bit better than Marvel Legends just the way they're sculpted and designed it sometimes the paints a little bit better I mean they both have paint issues a lot which is kind of really annoying that you buy these figures and they all have paint issues but that's the way stuff happens when they're mass produced as they are um, but I feel their paint jobs are a little bit better um, but you just get better characters though with the um, Marvel Legends so let's take a look at his face so again there's his face as you can see he's got his haircut there with a lightning bolt uh, carved into it, of course are designed into it for a flash with the lightning bolt and everything he's so he's got a yellow suit on with the red as you can see so uh sort of like the inverse of uh flash but not to be um Professor Zoom or whatever his name is. But you can see he's got the um, lightning bolts on the side of his head in red there. As you can see, again, some issues. There's like some gluing issues or something showing in there that don't look so great. Um, but then you can see on his suit, he's got the yellow upper half, of course, with the lightning bolt flash logo there. He's got red arms or gauntlet type arms there. And then from his waist down, he's red to get to the boots where it turns back to yellow. Um, I do like the whole like uh, uh, point designs or like, you know, little like divots and, or I don't know what you call Call, like little triangle cutouts and stuff I really think it adds a lot of detail and the black um, outlining of that looks really nice as well um, transitioning between colors and stuff so I really like the look of that design you know there at the belt on the gloves and boots and everything the whole again the whole triangle or cutout designs there look really nice um, then you can see he's got just all yellow boots I like the shoe design they did so they add some more detail into as you can see at the top here and then they have these little like red dotish things on the side which again add more detail into the character instead of just being completely plain yellow feet they add more detail into it and again looks super nice so let's look at movement oh i forgot that he does also have these red stripes there on his arms or shoulders which look really nice so for head movements obviously all the same movements he can twist his head all the way around shoulder movements he completely rotate it of course has a like a butterfly joint type thing in there then the bicep can twist all the way around it's got a single elbow joint which you can see just the joint very limited movement of the joint but um i still think it's enough to be able to do poses and stuff with it and then his hand of course twist all the way around and then can bend back and forth and flex um, then we've got, of course, his ab crunch, which you can clearly see the ab crunch on those. So it's got that twist at the waist there. Hips with movements that can move, um, not back pretty far because of the way they do these butt joints or butt coverings or whatever. The legs can't move back very far, but they can move pretty far forward. Twist at the thigh there. Double knee joint, as you can see, the two joints can't, can't get it bend at the second one because it's locked in there. But double knee joint, and then the foot can obviously flex back and forth and twist um actually they don't twist side to side that's the marvel legends that twist um but 
there is a little bit of movement side to side but it's just the looseness of the joint but it does flex back and forth and again these figures are pretty easy to get the pose or to like stand up and stuff i don't have very many issues with them just have to uh move a little a uh, couple spots here and there with marvel legends usually i fight a lot with them to try and get them to stand up so that's one thing that i do like about those for accessories um just for the kid flash himself we have hands the flat hands so of course with flash they always have to do the whole running thing so you have to switch the hands out to do that whole uh look and stuff of the running and then the only other thing that comes with our lobo pieces so we've got both arms of lobo there and this is also really cool it also comes with his chain so it's got a grappling hook on one side then it's a big long chain as you can see all the way down to like a weighted part at the end there so that's cool that it came with that this chain the chain is like a you know real cheap metal stuff you buy like a real cheap necklace on and then just plastic pieces for this and everything which look cool and from the box says cousin of wally west this super powered speedster joins the teen tines as kid flash and so there's a little bit of information on him, and that's going to be it for the kid flash and next up we've got batman beyond so terry mcginnis here which is uh really cool and stuff of course we had batman Batman Beyond the TV show back in the 90s probably about 20 years old by now and so it's cool to see Batman uh, Beyond continue on with the comic series and everything and that um, he's you know kind of been brought back and stuff um, even though it's time period stuff that fits with the old TV show doesn't really work but they I like how they still threw him in there so this is cool and so um, for Batman Beyond it's pretty simple it's just a Batman like design he's just like skinnier than Batman and then he's just in an all black suit so there's usually not much detail um, beyond that just because he's his suit is just always straight black there's no like color variations or anything he's just in an all black suit so we do get though the giant bat logo there or the verve batman beyond logo of the bat logo there on his chest of course all in red which looks really nice against the black and then we get a belt the utility belt there of course has the red on it then a bunch of gray um well, I'd assume to be like pouches and stuff for, of course, all the bat um, weapons and stuff. But you can see the face there. So he's got the face. So he's just got the whited eyes there and then just because normal face with Batman ears there. So they are kind of bendy and flexy there on the ears. And then it's just, yeah, just plain normal face, you know, same normal body. Of course, on the goblets here, he does have the spikes, of course, that Batman used to fight with and everything so he's got those on of course the belt we pointed out and then that's pretty much it so he's just got the plain feet you know like i mentioned opposite from kid flash his feet are just plain and normal nothing much going on there you can see the back of him there so again not much to look at on him like specifically um but it, i still think it looks super cool we'll, we'll look at movements though so of course same head movements there elbow or shoulder movements looks like it's a little bit stiff of course he's got a weird shaped joint i don't know if you can see that there it kind of like is cut in low here and then like spreads out towards the back so his arm kind of doesn't move very well um but it does have the movement to move up and down and of course come forward for the arm movements but backwards don't have much movement we do have the bicep twist the single elbow joint same as kid flash again so not much movement going on in there same hands so again can spin around and flex then we've got, of course, the ab crunch there, which he's not bending forward. I don't know if that's just the limitations of it or um, if it's stuck or something. But, yeah, he only, the, he moves back and forth just a little there. Twist right above the bell, of course, the same uh, legs and stuff. So feet come forward, but, again, have limitations going back because of their butt. Thigh twist, double knee joint again, and then same foot where it just flexes back and forth but not side to side um so there is a paint issue here i don't know if you can see it some sort of issue there it looks like some scraping or stuff went on to the arm there that it didn't get smoothed out and painted which usually black has issues on figures um they always seem to mess up with black and stuff so i don't know why what that's about but it always seems like that's like one of the colors that's most messed up when it comes to uh, the color of figures and stuff but of course since this is pretty basic for um batman beyond he does come with a lot of accessories so first thing he comes with an additional head so there's a head where he's actually like uh kind of like uh gnarl snarling or something i don't know what you'd say so he's gritting his teeth there so you can see the teeth the white teeth and stuff there and an angry looking face so you can obviously switch that out he does of course come with the wings here so his red wings that he obviously used to help fly and glide and stuff so you just take those and stick them into his back which is kind of tough it feels like so apparently that's as far in as it goes just because the hole that it goes in isn't that deep so I 
guess you, I thought this would at least go flat to his back, but you can't get it in any farther. So there's a gap. But from the front and everything, it looks pretty nice. You know, with the wings and everything there, the red wings adding to the black costume look really nice. He comes with the flat hands, of course. Usually characters always come with flat hands and then the grip hands and stuff. So you can use those for gliding and everything. And then he comes with four batarangs. Or I don't know if he calls them anything different as Batman Beyond, but they're just batarangs. So they got, you know, bat logo design and then they have their black in the center and then red along the outside of the wings there so it comes with four of those that you can obviously stick in his hands to look like he's throwing and everything and even comes with more stuff because we now have the Lobo so we got Lobo here so we've got Lobo's face so we've got two different face sculpts that it comes with so one where he's got goggles on as you can see that's um, up on his head that's pulling his hair back and then one where he doesn't have them so the hair is kind of down in his face and everything and again I like the way this hair is designed and stuff the way it actually is like loose and stuff and coming down into his face so we have those two designs there for Lobo and then we also have his waist here so we have um, you know like his hips and butt or whatever there with the you know a skull belt and everything so it looks really cool so we got that as well in this set and from the box says genetically engineered Terry McGinnis becomes the Cape Crusader in a more techno advanced Gotham City so that's gonna be it for Batman Beyond and next up, we have the Kingdom Come Superman. Of course, Kingdom Come drawn by Alex Ross, which very famous artwork, which looks amazing and stuff. So we have the Superman from that, which to me, looking at it, doesn't look exactly perfect or exactly like that Superman. But um, we'll just kind of look at it here. So here's a look at his face. So he just looks like a plain old Superman. The only difference being his like uh, outfit here with the S um, on his chest looks like it does from the kingdom come but everything else just looks like a normal superman character not much different beyond that so we have a look at his face here and to me the face looks almost exactly like christopher reeves you know from the superman movies and so obviously the comic version doesn't look anything like that and he looks like an older man where obviously they can't get much detail in on the toys but he has no like aging marks and stuff so to me it does just doesn't look like the kingdom come superman at all and it just looks like like i said christopher reeves then we have his hair there so he's got his hair all combed back and nice and he's got the blue design of course that they add in the comic series of stuff just to add more highlighting and stuff obviously they don't have blue hair but that's how the highlights worked um with characters with black hair and i believe in the kingdom come he had long hair too that was pulled back into a ponytail which obviously he doesn't have here unless like I know when you first see him in the comic, he has it, like I said, pulled back into a ponytail. But, um, and it's like a mullet type design. Um, but I don't know if he shaves or cuts his hair later once he actually comes back as Superman stuff. Not exactly sure. But, um, yeah, he doesn't have that sort of hair design. Then we've got the suit here, which again looks like the classic Superman design. So blue outfit, red trunks, red boots, and the red cape. So again, we have that logo there, which I will show you the picture on the box that kind of shows you what he should look like. But again, it's that logo from the Kingdom Come series, and then he's just all blue design. So no, it's not, you know, any detail to really look at, just all blue. Then he's got the red tights of course with a belt there with a gold buckle on it and some red lines there from the uh, tights and then he has these boots on which I do like the design here with like the red and stuff or with the black lines it just adds more detail obviously they're just all flat painted but it looks like he's actually got some sort of boots on that are red there as you can see and then he's just got the red cape that's all you know just a plastic and stuff nothing too special about it um, so again compared to for a Superman figure it looks really nice and stuff but compared to Kingdom Come it doesn't look that great so for head movements obviously you can twist his head around no real limitations there um, shoulder joints he does have a little notch here so obviously you can only get the shoulder to go up so far and then it um, has a little issue twisting back around but it will do it and then of course forward then you can butterfly as well bicep twist single elbow joint twisted hand same as usual ab crunch there which he does have some issues standing up because i assume because of the cape but he always wants to fall back so you just have to kind of position him to stand forward and then he's got kind of a crooked leg um waist twist there hips thigh twist double knee joint and of course the same foot joint as usual and that's really all there is to superman use that's why like i feel my thing is about people why not many people are fond of superman anymore i think obviously he's like the greatest superhero of all time just because how of old and of origin he is and stuff and it's just you know like a true american you know fantasy story and stuff um so i like that about superman but he's to me just so plain and boring and basic and i just don't i don't enjoy superman myself
But for accessories, he comes with, of course, the flat hands. So he's got to do, you know, the superimpose of flying. So he's got to have the flat hands as most characters all come with. And then he comes with Lobo pieces. So we have the chest here of Lobo. So he's got the jacket on, as you can see. And then we also have the necklace here of um, cross or crossbones of Lobo there with the what looks to be like an iron cross with a red jewel in the center of it. So we got that there for that. And from the box, it says, Having spent 10 years in solitude, Superman returns to fight for justice in a new disinterested and indecent planet. And I do want to show you again the picture. So there's a look of him from the Kingdom Come comic. So there he looks older. And then, of course, has that Superman chest logo there that you can see. And the belt and all that sort of stuff. So that's as much as you can see of it. Again, to me, doesn't really look much at all like it he looks much younger and like christopher reeves unfortunately but that's going to be it for the superman and the last character from the wave is the dc rebirth kyle rayner so again it's kyle rayner coming back as a green lantern and i think this looks awesome this is probably one of the best green lantern looking green lanterns i've seen in a long time so let's take a look at him so here of course we've got kyle rayner so we've got the kind of classic kyle rayner like face design with the mask here so that's you know he's like the kind of the first person that had this sort of face design with with the Green Lanterns and everything, so you can see the Green Lantern mask. It looks almost like a Robin mask or something, um, but it, I like the whole designs. It's like little like teeth thing come down and stuff. I think it looks really cool, and I like the like double layered look of it. So it's like a layer at the bottom, then a t layer on top of that. He's got the black hair again, designed like the Superman. So it's got the blue highlights again to go along with how the comets look and everything. So it looks nice, and he's got his uh, mouth there, kind of in like a again like an angry look, showing his teeth there. Um, then we've got just his suit which is mostly all black it does have this white cover uh, covering here on the front you can see it doesn't go to the back or anything it's just on the front and then I like the black stripe and then with the black and white mixture with the green lantern there I like the, the color design again I don't read the green lantern comics or anything so I don't know exactly what this has to do but I like the whole like black and white uh, switching out stuff of course I know he was the white lantern in that um, whole storyline so I don't know if that is because of that or what but I think that looks really quite cool. like that then he's again just all the black the suit suit uh then going down into in the gauntlets and so they got the green gauntlets of course because he's green lantern so he has to have green so he's got gloves on in there and then i like these like elbow pads that are coming off of it to like spike designs i really like that i really like that like padded look on him it looks really nice then going down he's from his waist he's all black for pants and stuff then get to his boots where he's got like knee high boots again green knee coverings here similar to the elbows there same shape and design and then all green boots there as well with the plain basic design for boots and everything Thing. there's a look from the back so again nothing special nothing no other additional details or designs going on there again same movements so head twist shoulder which can you know move farther as far as it can go up there's no stop or anything like the superman had um can't really move back very well it feels kind of like a stiff joint there we go get it loosened up here can spin all the way around of course and butterfly um, bicep twist single elbow joint again it has that elbow covering that kind of helps cover it as well um, fist can twist around and of course flex but very little just because of the thickness of that it, the like hand sinks into very well uh, far into the joint so you can't get very much flexing out of it but there is some obviously then we have the ab crunch a uh, waist twist thigh twist again same movements because the butt's getting in the way Oh, and I forgot to mention his ring there. So he does obviously have the ring there on his right hand, which is cool. So yeah, it's got the hip there, thigh twist, double knee joint there. You can actually see the double knee joint above the knee pad and below it. And of course the foot can flex and everything there. So it looks all cool and everything. And again, I really like this design. I like the um, green padding or like uh, armor type on him design i think it looks really nice with that um for accessories he comes with a hand, a hand covering here so obviously it's supposed to be like if he's using the green lamp or the lamp ring sorry and he's like you know punching or something it's part of his powers and stuff of the uh, force or whatever that comes out of the ring then we have the power batter here again with a lantern design um different obviously from the original but still looks really cool just the new take on the design obviously you can get into his hand to hold and stuff so the green lantern power battery and that's really all he comes with it but then he's got the last lobo pieces here so it's the legs which look cool with those knee pads and stuff the legs there of lobo and so from his box says once a white lantern and the barrier of the seven rings kyle rayner is back to the basics under the new core as a green lantern so that's going to be it for the dc rebirth kyle rayner
So I now have all of the Lobo pieces here, so I'm going to go ahead and put them together, and then we'll take a look at it. So I got Lobo all together here, and so it looks really cool. Again, it looks kind of funny because to me, he looks like he's smaller and the legs than he is up top, but I think that's part of his, like, you know, comic design and stuff where he's got this big upper body and a little bit smaller in the legs, so I kind of feel it fits along with that. So I put just the normal-looking head on. I didn't put the one with the goggles and stuff, so again, it's just got his normal-looking head there and stuff, and of course, it can twist around and move and uh, move in all sorts of different directions obviously limited by his hair but it still fits in there i got the necklace on there around his neck then of course he's got his leather vest on here so it's got like all the spikes and stuff so it's black leather vest again blue highlighting like they do to the hair and stuff of characters so i like how they threw that in there and you can see like the zipper and pockets and stuff a lot of detail going into the jacket then he's just got his normal um obviously he doesn't have a shirt on or anything so he's the skin color of this bluish gray color he's got some biker gloves on there with again some knuckles on it with spikes and everything and i like you can See, even see the buckle there to or the whatever thing to hold the gloves on that you can tighten and stuff um so he's got that on both hands then obviously there he's got the belt that we mentioned with the skull belt buckle he's got like a cod piece for some reason i don't know why um but then a black belt on with studs you know all over it then blue pants so he's just got jeans on then it goes down to his legs where he's got these knee pads on again with these skulls that have weird like heads on them and uh, stars which look again really cool these metal uh shin guards here so you know they just look like knight's armor and stuff almost just layered metal all riveted together and you can see him strapped on his leather boots there which he's got that and then he's got even metal on the better so he's got the metal on the tips of his toes there with spikes on him and then a metal piece there on the back of his heel and everything and he just looks super cool and badass of course he is a biker so he usually rides around on motorcycles so it would have been cool to have that motorcycle but unfortunately just you know build figure so we just got that figure itself and then of course i did say there's the other head there and of course his chain here that he's got so i don't know exactly how you're supposed to put this in his hands or anything but i'm sure i'll figure it out and uh, i think it'll look super cool so i can't wait to see that so that's gonna be it for this wave of the dc multiverse collect and connect Lobo wave here so of course we have the four characters with that all build Lobo again looks super cool and everything so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below and of course subscribe if you want to see more action figure reviews thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time